Norway announces an engineering world first. Norway will spend $315 million on the world's first ship tunnel in a bid to improve maritime safety and cut journey times. The 1,700 meter long tunnel will carve through the solid rock of the Stad Peninsula in Western Norway, allowing ships weighing up to 16,000 tons to pass between two fjords. The tunnel will allow cargo vessels and passenger ships to navigate more safely through the Stadhavet Sea. The width between the tunnel walls is 36 meters. A traffic light system will be used to show when it's safe to pass. The team behind the tunnel expects that five ships per hour will be able to pass through it. Construction on the project will begin by 2019 at the earliest, with completion expected by 2023. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Stay tuned for more amazing feats of engineering. The Norwegian government has earmarked 171 million US dollars to build a tunnel so large ships can sail through a peninsula. The project will carve a 1.7 kilometer long tunnel through Norway's Stad Peninsula, connecting two fjords. The 29 meter high tunnel will be 17 meters from sea level to ceiling with the bottom 12 meters beneath the water and 36 meters wide. This will allow Norway's large coastal express passenger ships to cut days off their journey and avoid treacherous northwestern waters. Construction will not begin until 2018 and is expected to take about four years to complete. Norway plans submerged floating tunnels to make driving easier. The floating underwater tunnel you see here could be the solution to Norway's transportation challenges. Norway is known for its beautiful fjords, the deep inlets of ocean that form between its high cliffs. But getting over one means taking a ferry, and that can add hours to a car trip. Because fjords can be up to a mile deep, building a bridge over the waterway or tunnel underneath is not very practical. Norway's engineers think they have the answer. They want to float concrete tunnels 100 feet below the ocean's surface. This would allow ships to sail unobstructed by bridges. That's because floating pontoons would hold the concrete tunnels in place. At the moment, engineers are crunching the numbers on the ambitious $25 billion project. If all goes to plan, the world could get its first floating underwater tunnel by the year 2035. China is planning to build the world's longest undersea tunnel by 2026. Connecting the Chinese port city of Dalian with the city of Yantai, the world's longest undersea tunnel would be 123 kilometers long. Making it more than twice as long as the current record holder in Japan, linking Honshu and Hokkaido Islands. The project, consisting of two tunnels, both of them 10 meters in diameter, would allow trains traveling at 220 kilometers per hour to make the journey between the two cities in 40 minutes, and travelers to avoid a 1,400 kilometer drive or an eight-hour ferry ride. It is estimated that the project will cost about 220 billion yuan. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Triumph of Engineering opens in Switzerland. The world's longest and most expensive railway tunnel, the Gotthard based tunnel, opened on Wednesday. The Gotthard based tunnel originates in Erstfeld in Switzerland's Uri Canton and ends in Baldio in the canton of Tessin. The tunnel sits 2.3 kilometers under the Alps, making it the deepest railway tunnel in the world. The tunnel uses a system of two one-way tracks linked by emergency escape routes. The tunnel's vault was covered with concrete and waterproof material, which allow water in the Alps to flow down inside the walls. The water is channeled out through pipes beneath the railway tracks. Trains travel on an almost entirely flat track and are able to reach maximum speeds of 250 kilometers per hour. The tunnel will cut the train journey time between Zurich and Milan by one hour to just about three hours. The tunnel will also be used for freight trains, 
About 260 freight trains will be able to use the tunnel per day, up from the 180 maximum on the current route. It is also hoped that the tunnel will reduce Alpine road traffic and consequently reduce CO2 emissions. The 57-kilometer tunnel is the world's longest, overtaking Japan's Seikan Tunnel and the Channel Tunnel between England and France. The Gotthard Base Tunnel took 17 years to complete. Regular service is expected to commence in December. Slated for completion in 2020, Denmark is set to begin work on an undersea road and rail tunnel across the Fehrmann Belt Strait to Germany. Nine identical reinforced concrete segments will be joined to form a single tunnel section. The tunnel consists of 89 such sections. Finished tunnel sections are moved to a dry dock, which is flooded with seawater. Tugboats are used to move the floating tunnel elements towards pre-dug seabed trenches. Pontoons are attached and the elements lowered to the seabed, 40 meters beneath the surface. The 18-kilometer-long undersea tunnel will be the world's longest tunnel of its kind as well as the world's longest combined road and rail tunnel.